To see more and to discover the beauty of art, visit MakeupGirls.com. Okay, we're going to continue with Maria. We've already got her eye makeup done. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the uh, hair color and then match the eyebrow color to it. And what I'm going to do is crush up a little chalk over here. And it kind of makes, you know, a powdery type thing. And it, it mimics real makeup, which is great. So you can take a cotton ball, just kind of dab it in, and then streak over. And it just kind of fills it in like that. The more powder you put on, the darker it will be. And you can blend colors as well, or you can keep it as one color all the way through. Get a little bit more. You can also go on over top of the chalk with colored pencils and give it streaks of color as well. And if it gets a little on the headband, that's alright, because we're going to go over that as well. And you can always take um, an eraser or an ink eraser, a chalk eraser, or something like this, and go over and touch it up. Alright, so we've got a hair color, sort of a blonde shade. I'm going to just mix a little bit of a darker brown with it, just to give it a little more depth. Just random parts of the hair, kind of like natural highlights. And I'm going to take a colored pencil to do the eyebrows to kind of match the color. I mean, naturally, um, your eyebrows are a little bit darker than your hair. So I thought this would be a nice color. Bit of hair I missed there. Fill that in. And we're all finished with our hair. And I'm going to go in and take a colored pencil again to do the accessories. We'll stick with our purple palette and do a purplish blue. go to MakeupGirls.com, you'll see all of the other girls have different accessories. Each have their own. Right, I'm going to color in the rose. Traditional red rose. Alright, and there we go. That's the hair.